Okay, this is the fourth of five sessions for the five treasures Qigong. <clears throat> so we're going to start off by simply reviewing very quickly, uh, not quickly, we'll take our time with it, of course, uh, series as it is. Now, in the beginning, remember, it's cleansing. So what is cleansing? It is simply kind of bouncing, but try to do it with your whole body going out. That's the cleanse. That's the first cleansing part. Okay, shaking the tray, shaking the tray, and just let your whole body get into it. And then we go right into moving around and opening the energy gates or hip and arm swinging. And remember your hip goes forward, your weight goes, transfers totally from one leg to the other. And you just relax, opening the energy gates. Now that's cleansing, that's releasing the tension, the toxins in our bodies. And then we just slow down and we go into collecting and circulating this energy that's within us and we're more aware of. Ah, deep breath. And we start out by our hands coming at the lower Dantian here. So notice how it's kind of like a circle here and you just kind of feel that expansion that you had when you were bouncing, when you were releasing. Just feel that energy and focus on the palms of your hands here. Every one of the moves begins and ends with the hands right here. So relax your shoulders. You can lift them up and back, or forward, however. Relax your knees, your elbows, okay, your hips. And just become aware of your feet grounded in the earth, nice and solid. And we're going to begin with ocean wave breathing. Now, it's an ocean wave comes from, it feels like it comes from way below and opens up, rises, and then recedes. Now, when we do this move, as we rise, our weight goes onto the heels. So we want the whole body to be involved. And as the wave recedes, the weight goes onto the soles of the feet. And so you get that rocking below. Your whole body is being elevated, shall we say, expanded. And then relaxes and comes down slowly. Very simple. Now, how high do you go? As high as you want. How many do you do? As many as you want. Ocean wave breathing in the video is done, I think, about 12 times. But, you know, don't worry about that. Just do it the way you want. But feel the expansion. That's what's important in the wave breathing. And then as each move ends with relax in stillness. Right here, right here, right? There's a pause again. And the focus becomes the lower Dantian area. And that is an area inside, just below your navel, right in the middle, it's like a bowl, like a singing bowl, for instance. And so you want your body to be in good alignment, vertical alignment between earth and heaven, so that whatever is in the bowl is not gonna fall out. And you become aware of the energy as though it's just radiating out. It's a, it's a put a big sun in there and feel it radiating out. And you feel it in your hands and your palms. It's relaxing in stillness is very important because in the stillness comes those moments where our intuition might kick in where we get ideas we may not have had before. So the end of each move is very important to pay attention. We think we're doing nothing, but it can be the most fruitful of anything we do. Okay, then we move into drawing up earth energy. Now to draw up, first our arms come out and then we sink down, lower your body as your arms move downward, kind of in a squat but keeping your back straight and then palms come up as though you've gathered and you're bringing up on each side of the body on either side of your spinal cord, just drawing up this powerful earth energy to above your head and then let it circulate above and come down again. We're mixing the earth with the heavens. So when we come down, feel the thighs get tight. So this is a good exercise too for the largest muscles of the body. Down we go and then pull up. So you can pull up with your hands coming up like this 
or if you want to have your palms facing your body and you might feel the radiation from your palms into both sides of your body and drawing up. And again, coming down. So there's a rhythm to each one of these that can coincide with our breathing, but don't worry about that right now. You'll figure it out. You would be inhaling as you come up, maybe two inhales, whatever you want, drawing it up, expanding. And then you would be exhaling as you come down. Okay. And then again, as you come down slowly, let your palms come together. <clears throat> Notice how you feel. Relax and feel that energy between your palms and inside you. And we mentioned the Ming Men, this point in the back, the gate of life and the Dantian in the front. Well, that is where the this bowl of energy, this Dantian center is, energy center is right here. So we want to pause, acknowledge it, feel it, fill it. Okay, gathering in starlight, four fingers to the thumb, bring your arm around and right into the center back. Now, make sure you're comfortable because while you're doing this, this arm shoulder may get tired. So bring it down, but imagine the energy circulating down and through and coming down that arm and into that back area. So remember, that's right in the middle of the Dantian there. <clears throat> and then we're going to step it forward just a bit and back. So just get that feeling of shifting your weight forward and shifting it back. Now, when you shift forward, bring that forward hip, move it forward like that. That's going to give you a circling feeling and then come back all the weights on the back leg. You can lift the front up if you wanted to, but you don't need to. And as you go forward, you're circling and all the weight comes off the back, even though your back foot remains on the ground. Okay, here we go. So <clears throat> there are three areas we're going to cover. We're going to gather in to the lower Dantian. We'll cover those three energy areas. And then that's the physical part of our being. And then we're going to gather in to the heart-mind part right here. That's the compassion part, right? And then we're gathering. Now, as you're gathering, your palm can be up a little bit because you're drawing in starlight and bringing it into your mind. Third eye area, intuition area. And then circle around and up. So this is a spiraling. Now this move is powerful when you shift your body first and then your arm comes around and expands. Shift your body back and it draws your arm back. So it's that <clears throat> shift of the body. The whole vertical axis goes forward. The arm comes around and back. And then it's going to slowly come down. You can just mentally imagine the energy going into your mind into your heart, back knee is bent a little bit when you come back, if it's comfortable, front knee is bent as you go forward, and then into that power point, the lower Dantian, and draw the foot back, arm comes down, rest the other arm, and this hand is now, I'm sorry, this hand is going to do the four fingers to the thumb, then you step forward, with that foot and, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting my left and right all mixed up here today. Okay, bring that hand around and back. <laughs> and then the other foot goes forward. I knew there was something discombobulated about that one. Okay, so same thing, shifting your weight from the back to the front. Spine is straight, that vertical axis is straight. And then move the hip forward and over, back and down, forward and over, back and down. <clears throat> now, as we go forward and over, the arm is gathering, palm can be up, and gathering energy into that physical body. Okay, then we go up to the heart, but the body goes forward first, then the arm comes out. Now, feel your spinal column just moving back onto that back leg as your hand comes closer to your heart. 
Then as you shift your weight forward, the arm expands and then shift the weight back. Now imagine that your <clears throat> fingertips are exuding energy out and you're just kind of drawing circles up there or like that red beam of light that comes at the end of those pointer things when you're going to uh, seminars and stuff. And they, that beam of light is coming out of your fingertips and just shining up there. And then imagine the energy of the universe pouring down in it. And this becomes a very powerful move. I enjoy doing this outside at night. It is awesome for those of us who are in a warmer climate. <clears throat> very awesome. And come back because your whole body's involved in this. Feel that? One more time. Right around the lower Dantian. And come back. Step back. Get comfortable. How does that shoulder feel? Remember, pay attention. <clears throat> if you're in pain, the energy cannot flow. So get relaxed. <clears throat> excuse me, into that relaxing and stillness. Just relax in stillness. Okay. Just to get used to that precious time of doing nothing. <laughs> what a luxury, huh? Okay, then we're going to draw into the heart, opening our heart. We're going to draw in and out. The whole process literally opens the heart. So your palms can come up, makes no difference which goes first, drawing in or out. Palms are up. Can you feel a little weight in each palm? So you're giving, letting go right through your, your whole body from the bottom up and down the arms, the wings of the heart, and giving that way. And then spreading it out, coming around. And it's like you're gathering more from behind you. You're actually circulating the electromagnetic energy around your entire body as you're doing that and releasing it. So you acknowledge it, you breathe it in and giving with a sense of gratitude that you have something to give and smile. Yes, there it goes. Now, the opposite is very simple. We bring in, our heart needs to be open to give and receive. All right, so we're bringing it back. Now, you don't have to go way back. You could just bring it around sideways. Wrists are relaxed. Palms are gently cupped. Palms turn up. Notice the knees are a little bent here in this position. This is that receiving position. We want to be closer to the ground, lower the gravity, center of gravity. Draw it in to the heart and around it back. Sink. Palms up. Draw it in and then bring it right down to the lower Dantian again. And become aware in between of any areas that are tight because you want the energy to be flowing freely. And at the end of each move, the more time you spend in this position and relaxing in stillness, the more you will become aware of this energy that you are. And then finally, drawing down the heavens. So our knees sink, <clears throat> arms come around, palms come up, and then we rise, straightening the knees a little bit and just feel the energy in your palms and draw it right down the front of your body. Now, again, your palms could be facing you or facing the earth. If you want the feeling of pressing it through your whole being into the bottoms of your feet and into the earth, then palms will face downward. If on the other hand, you feel you want to do a kind of like a CAT scan in a way, a scan, but the scan is sending the energy into your mind, your vision, your will and your neck through all the chakras, your heart, solar plexus, clearing them all, clearing them all and down and sinking and up. This is a rather glorious and powering way to end these moves. And then very, very slowly, we're going to ground this energy in the area of the Dantian, as we did before, but hold it in your hands and then just form that ball. And again, 
we just recognize that the energy is going to flow into our body wherever it needs to go. If you have an intention of an area that is in need, perhaps of healing or relaxation, then send it there if you wish. But basically, it's easier just to trust, just to be allowing it to go. It knows. You might feel a pulsing in your hands. You might feel a pulsing in your belly while you do this. So that is the fifth and final move of collecting and circulating this chi energy. Now we're going to store it. And we'll just briefly go through that. Just store it by going down the inside and down the outside. You can touch your arm or you can skim over it an inch or two above, outside and the inside, right through your fingers. Feel that. And then the other arm, right out, just storing it. It's like compacting it in, okay? Just compacting it in. And then the legs. Now, the legs can be done very simply by putting your hand, your your thumb on the sides and your forefingers behind you and just go down the side and back and then just let it out and come up the inside. And then we're gonna come down the front and the inside and come up the outside or however you wanna do that. It doesn't really make any difference, but the point is it's like you're compacting just compacting it all in there, okay? And it's actually in the bone marrow that stir, stores a lot of chi energy. So you kind of feel that sense. And then we come right up and we just brush down between the neck and the lower abdomen. And I'm finding it more powerful not to touch because then I get distracted by the texture, but just to scan over. And that becomes much more relaxing to me, but do whatever feels best for you, just brushing that. And we're going to circle the abdomen, one hand over the other, makes no difference which, and around. We just go three times in one direction, and three times in the other direction. Okay, now this is storing it, compacting it in that lower dantian, that power, physical part of our being. And then rest your hands, again, over it, touching. Your thumbs might touch your navel, and your fingers below on your belly, or you can just bring your hands out away from it just a little bit. But just getting a sense that you put all the energy from the earth and the heavens right in here. And then just simply relax, holding your arms out in any position that's comfortable. And when you're finished, Shift your weight to one side, push off of that leg. As you're pushing off, arms come up, palms up, foot comes in, and fingers are pointing to the heavens. Now, we're going to align ourselves between heaven and earth by drawing down right through that energy center, that central meridian, and then point your hands down into the earth. So it's like sending a beam of light down, a beam of light up, drawing it up into the heart. And that becomes our namaste. We give from our hearts. That's the center of our being. And then soften the knees. Inhale up. Separate the hands, the feet, and exhale. Okay. Now, that did not take us very long to do. I didn't time it, but it did not take us long. But at night, I usually do maybe three of each. And that works quite well. So have a seat and I'm <clears throat> gonna share something with you. Um, this is a reading from Roger Yonka's book, The Healing Promise of Chi, uh, a very powerful book. It's called Creating Extraordinary Wellness Through Qigong and Tai Chi. It's a classic. Uh, let me now just share the screen with you as I read it so you can, there we go. There, okay. So this little reading is called, You Can Consciously Connect to the Power That Runs the Universe. That's a pretty awesome thought, isn't it? To connect with the power that runs the universe. And that power you may envision as the divine, as God, as 
universal energy, however you imagine it, but knowing that you can connect to it. Through Qigong, you can purpose, purposefully create a direct channel into an unlimited field of ever-present nourishing resources. The origin of this energy is the universe itself, the sun, the earth, the boundless field of potential, sometimes called the quantum field. The same astounding resource that regulates the seasons causes plants to grow and create stars and galaxies is available to each of us. This resource is called chi or God or the universe, whatever you choose to ca call it. But the amazing, amazing fact is that that resource, could think about it, that regulates changing seasons, causes a plant to grow, creates stars, is available to us all the time, every moment. And when we do these simple five moves, it's an opportunity to experience that energy. We become almost enlarged because of it, empowered because of it. And it's a peaceful energy. And as energy, it is a, it's a how would I put it? A peaceful energy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's probably the best way I can think of. But um, that is the essence of, of what we're doing. So when I was talking about reaching for the starlight and coming around, it's as though your palm is in touch with and pulling it in. And now it may look symbolic, it may look mechanical, but literally, if you recognize that your hand, your palm is composed of billions of cells and each little cell has a nucleus and every nucleus has energy and the energy is coming out, that's alive. And so you picture that gathering, soaking up all that is good around you. And it brings a different dynamic to every move we do. And it also helps us to recognize um, how important and yet in a way insignificant we are at the same time in the scope of the universe, in the scope of all things. We're talking about, you know, how important is it anyway, all this stuff I have in my to-do list. And when you look at yourself in relationship to the universe, you think, oh, well, I'm really very minuscule. However, everything I do, every move I make is changing the energy around me and the energy going out there. So to be peaceful brings, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. We're entering that season. This is one way you can practice it. Okay, so let's now enjoy the moves. And I'm going to change the view here. There we go. Okay, so let's just enjoy it now. Okay, and let yourself feel it. Let your body become at one with everything around you and see what happens, see what it feels like. Okay. All right, we're going to go slowly and we are going to simply enjoy this whole process. So the first thing we want to do is just cleanse ourselves of any toxins. And to do that, feel your whole body vibrating out, vibrating down, and just kind of shake it, shake it, shake the tree, okay? Anything that's trapped in there, let it out and kick a leg. What do you need to do? Listen to your body. Where are you tight? Just do that. Let it go. Contract and expand everything. And <clears throat> take some nice deep breaths while you're doing that too. And relax with it. It can be kind of fun. It's a bit of bouncing in a way. If you choose to bounce, that'll help too. Whatever you need to do, but you know, shake it out. Get those limbs out and move your head around on your neck. What's that feel like? Hear the crackles in your neck. You can make up this shaking the tree anything you want, 
but basically the idea is to loosen everything up. Also, pay attention to your inner organs while you're doing that. Okay, if you're shaking it, what's going on in here? You're straightening them out so they can hang like fruit from a tree. They're not all crumbled up. So that's another good reason to loosen everything up and feel that. Okay, from there, we're gonna go right into opening the energy gates. And those energy gates are all of your joints. <clears throat> so feel that, you all know this well. Enjoy it, relax with it, but be aware of the spiraling. You're spiraling onto one side and then you're spiraling onto the other side. And it's like, just like that movement with gathering in starlight, <clears throat> kind of a spiral. Bending your elbows, waking up the internal organs. <clears throat> this moves the chi through all the meridians too. When we do this, you can turn and look a little bit behind you if you wish. One hip goes forward, the other hip goes forward. And you just get everything loosened up, stimulating. And then we simply slow it down. Slow it down consciously. <clears throat> Anchor your feet. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and just notice how you feel now. Be aware of it. If you find any tightness anywhere, you all kind of know what you can do, usually shoulders and hips. Just loosen them up. And then be still and feel your energy. The life force, remember the life force that enables a plant to grow, the seasons to change. We're a part of that. That's pretty miraculous when you think about it. Nice deep breath and ocean wave breathing. We'll begin by simply rocking forward and back as though you're the water is pushing you forward and then the water is pushing you back. This vertical axis of your spine is nice and comfortable resting on the pelvis. Your head is part of the spine, not part of the spine your neck is, and your head is resting on that neck as you simply go forward and back, almost rocking in the ocean. Nice deep breath. Exhale fully. Now let's bring our hands in front of the lower Dantian here. We're going to coordinate the movement of the hands with the rocking forward and back. As you rock back, the arms expand, your whole being expands, the ocean is lifting you up. And then those waves gently lower you. Think about not crashing waves, but the undulations that the ocean offers. So there's kind of a pulsing, an inner ocean. Remember our bodies are over 70% liquid. That inner ocean is expanding out. We are a part a macrocosm of the microcosm, uh, the microcosm of the macrocosm. Yeah. I think it was Rumi who said, well, you are not a drop in the ocean, but you are the whole ocean in a drop. Feel a part of that. Just relax. You don't have to use your shoulders very much. Feel the resistance of the water coming down. All your joints are soft. All your muscles are soft. as high or as low as you want and then do one more <clears throat> and after you finish that one just rest 
your palms facing each other in front of the lower Dantian. That pulsing still may be going on <clears throat> inside of you. Probably is, you might feel it. Rest, relax, and stillness. Notice what you're feeling. Aware of it. Accept. If you're not comfortable, take action and change your position. Then we're going to gather earth chi. So our arms are going to rise up. We're going to draw it up. Come down, palms down. Just like you're squatting, your spine is straight and draw it up. Draw that earth energy up through your entire body. Feel yourself filling. Full. Relax. And you come down for more. Feel your whole self expanding as earth comes up to mingle with the heavens and the sky. We live between both. We are suspended between earth and heaven. So feel the bottoms of your feet. Feel that solid nature of the earth. Feel your shoulders relax, your knees relax and get soft. As you go down and as your fingers point to the earth, it's like soaking it up. And then scanning, sending the energy through your body, energizing it. nourishment of all physical things. To every cell of your being. Relax. One more time. Notice you don't even have to bend over very much. You can almost stand straight and do this. Do what is comfortable. And then feel your hands full as they're coming down. They've been combined actually with heaven and earth energy. All that you are between your palms, relax. Feel the stillness. Feel the life force. You do not feel relaxed. If you have any tightness in a muscle anywhere, move it, massage it, shake it, whatever you need to do, and then simply come back to this relaxation and stillness. In the next series, the holiday series, I'm going to be talking about that. I'll be sending you something to help you do this periodically throughout the day, something similar. Very simple and yet so powerful. Okay, now gathering in starlight. Now remember, if you need to shake a leg or whatever, do so. Maybe you want to maybe loosen up a little bit between some of these. Each one is individual. They don't have to flow one into the other at all. Because gathering starlight, we're going to move our whole body around. So we'll just begin by taking one hand, four fingers to the thumb, drawing it around. Now do this consciously. Bring it slowly. As though this is a pointer here, and it's going to come right back and zero in and zap right between your kidneys, between the adrenal glands. And then the other foot, opposite foot, is going to step forward, 
turn the back heel in a little bit so you're feeling nice and balanced here. As you go forward and back, one knee gets soft, the other knee gets soft. Now, as you go forward, let that hip come around. Palm is drawing in from the universe into the lower Dantian, into that area of power, your physical being. Now, remember all the energy of the universe coming into your palm and drawing into your heart. Powerful, compassion emotion. Again, around and consciously, you can look at your hand if you wish and imagine it going right into your head, into your thinking. And then we go into the wisdom. We talk about intuition, we talk about wisdom, but we need to allow, we need to let go. And then we can take in that energy that inspires us, that guides us. Call it the divine, call it God, call it the universe, whatever. But remember that we are attuned to it all the time. We just don't pay attention to it. It's there for us all the time. And sometimes we don't pay attention to it because we don't stop long enough to do that. Circle around, shifting your weight from one leg to the other. Your whole body is involved in the gathering and then coming down. Let it feed your mind, your heart, your spirit. and your physical being. And step back, comfortably. <clears throat> then shake a little bit here, because sometimes we forget to do that. I think we just have to keep going all the time. We don't. We need to pay attention, relax. And then four fingers to the thumb, and we're gonna step. Bring that hand back and around into that Ming Men, which is the opposite side of the Dantian in the front. Step forward with the opposite foot, back heel turns in. Just go forward and back a little bit. And then as you go forward, turn that hip and then bring the hip around and back. The weight goes to the back leg. Just feel that. So you're getting your whole body involved and then bring the arm around. Slowly. Pay attention to what does your palm feel like as it passes the lower Dantian. Turning the hips and then the arm expands, getting ready to draw into your heart center. And even coming around, enjoy the process. <clears throat> Clear your mind so that you simply allow whatever thoughts to come to come. Feeling your weight shifting back and forth. As it goes forward, it just propels your arm out and your palm is up, gathering in. Universal energy. Same energy that created the stars and the seasons. My goodness. It's there. <clears throat> we only realize it. Become aware of it. Allow it to be a part of our lives. There's great appreciation that comes with that. And if your arm is getting tired, just lower it or the arm behind your back, just lower that if you need to as well. <clears throat> just be comfortable in your gathering. Because we can't take things in when we're tight. So clear the mind and then we'll go down to the heart. Feel that spiraling forward as your hip goes forward and around. Then into the lower Dantian. <clears throat> Step back, loosen that arm up, let the energy flow, whatever you need to do, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Just relax, rest in the stone. <clears throat> now to be still means your body is going to talk to you and you're going to hear it. What do your legs feel like? What about your hips? Do you need to move them a little bit and just get them relaxed so they can be still? How about the trunk of your body? Can you just get that, flex your back, forward and back, and just feel that whole area <clears throat> getting comfortable, your shoulders, neck, head. <clears throat> and then, whatever it is, it's your body. Only you can tell what you need to do. And only you can do it. What makes this so empowering, and so effective? Now <clears throat> we're going to open our heart. So remember, your arms are the wings of your heart. Let's bring our palms up, sink the knees. And then as our knees straighten and we, our whole body expands in that giving. Now, from a physiological standpoint, this, these two moves literally do open our heart muscles and the circulation, sending more blood and oxygen into those muscles that work ceaselessly to keep us alive. <clears throat> So the move, every move has a physiological benefit as well as a psychological and a spiritual benefit. One of the reasons we need to slow down and move with intention. As we give from our hearts, we never run dry because our palms are open. And as you notice, we come around and we just gather more energy and it keeps going. But we need to receive also into our hearts. So bring those palms back and we just reverse the move. The key is the open hand, never a closed fist. So we give and we receive that same sense of gratitude and graciousness. Take it in. No rush. Take it in even more slowly if you can. Here's where we can imagine gathering in from that biosphere. That's all the energy around us, the plants, the animals, the people, all that energy. That's part of the energy of the universe in a horizontal thought pattern. Relax the shoulders and take it in. We're embracing here too. We're embracing our family, our friends. Embrace all that energy and bring it right on down to that Dantian area. And relax in the stillness. Re anchor yourself if you need to in the feet and feel that anchoring in your feet radiating right up to the hips. And your spine sits in that nice and firm and yet relaxed and comfortable. Giving from the heart, receiving into the heart, opening your heart, energizes every cell of your body.
Now, finally, we will draw down heaven shape. So we're going to sink by lowering the tailbone. Just lower the tailbone. See what that feels? Sink that way. Lower the tailbone and your knees will get soft. Your arms expand. Feel the palms of your hands. Notice how they can accumulate energy and then wash it down your entire body, even though here it's going down your arms into your fingers again, and then it's going down through the trunk of your body, into your legs and into the earth. So heaven permeates you. And that resource never runs out. This is gathering in that universal energy, drawing it down ever so slowly. Perhaps you want to draw it down as a light. Feel the light of the stars, of the sun, the moon in your palms. And then let your palms face your mind and shed that light. Let it illuminate your mind and your vision. Let it send healing energy light into every bone in your body. Into every muscle in your body, every joint, just feel it flowing. It will go where it needs to go. Remember that. And allow it to go into every organ in your body. Your brain may not be an organ, but let it go filter through that, filter through your whole digestive system, your circulatory system, your respiratory system, all those symptom systems, elimination. And then draw it down right here. You've gone through them all. And just feel, relax. The stillness. Feel the pulsing of this energy. Notice where in your body you do feel it. If you have tension anywhere, and you send that energy to those areas of tension and see in your mind's eye that tension melting, relaxing that area. Okay, now we have cleansed our body in the beginning. Then we collected and we circulated this universal energy throughout our entire being. What we want to do now is store it. So let your arms come down, lift your feet, place them back in the earth. <clears throat> now in storing it, we're going to brush it, but we're not brushing it off. Just imagine pushing it in as your hand goes over because your hands now have a lot of energy in them. So it's kind of smoothing your aura, some people say, and just from the top down, just brush, compacting it. Slowly, right out the fingers, ground them, then the other hand, palm goes up. <clears throat> Remember, you can touch or not your skin. And if you're not touching, you might even feel more energy. Turn it over. And imagine it being compacted right through the skin, the muscles, the tendons, the bones, right into the bone marrow. Okay. Now this time we're gonna do our legs and we're gonna go down the sides and the back. 
And that, again, compressing, compressing, compressing from our palms into our hands. And then come back up and we'll go down to the front and the insides. However you want to do this. And letting it out. You can do one leg at a time too, if you wish, but we're just going slowly that way. And now from the neck, down to the lower belly, relax the shoulders, the neck, and just smooth that out. And just know that each time you go down, your hands are radiating. <clears throat> healing energy. And then place one hand over the other, makes no difference which. And we're gonna do three slow circles in one direction. Don't worry about which direction you're going in. <clears throat> no rush. And then in the other direction. Thinking. If you choose to move your body with it, I've just gotten in the habit of doing that. You can. If not, just rotate your hands around <clears throat> and focus on that lower Dantian area in particular. And then let your hands rest on it or just above it. Just remain there for a moment. <clears throat> Bring your hands out a little bit. To conceal or minimize. Would you please mute yourself and just hold that position very quietly and make sure you're comfortable now. As I've said, you can move your feet, you can move whatever you need to move until you feel settled, just settled. And in this position, we remain as long as you're comfortable. It could be with your arms like this, 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 wherever. Find the place that's comfortable for you because when it is, the energy will flow more freely. And that's the whole idea. Now, sometimes I want to count and see how long we're comfortable, or you can actually look at a clock or something and say, okay, I'm gonna stay here for 30 seconds or I'm gonna stay here for a minute or two, whatever, up to you. But do give your, gift yourself with the time to do this. And then shift your weight to one leg and let your arms come down. Now all the weights on that one leg, we're gonna shift it over to the other leg as the arms come up, one leg over, palms together, fingers now pointing up to the universe and drawing the universal energy, that would be the heaven energy, through ourselves, down into the earth and draw it back up as a reminder that we live between heaven and earth and that we have accessible to us all the energy we need surrounding us all the time. It's as close as the air we breathe. So gently, with a sense of gratitude, you say namaste, recognizing that same energy in each one of us. And then sink the knees, inhale, separate the hands and the feet, exhale and anchor. And relax. And know that you have accepted a gift that's available to you all the time. Thank you.